You're also a family man. You've got a beautiful daughter, haven't you? Who's she's what three now? Four? Yeah, she's she's three and a bit. Um, just on three back back in November. Um, yeah, he's got his own fun parts and, and challenges, of course. So yeah, it's uh, trying to balance that out between you know kind of yeah work life balance and then trying to make sure that I'm home every evening, especially for you know having a, a evening meal together read a bedtime story have a bath together it, that's that's important to me that's absolutely important and and it's not an easy task sometimes to balance because you know on a day-to-day basis i run a business that well three businesses now three hotels that are 24 7 essentially you know they never stop we've got guests day in and day out um once we reopen post COVID, there's never been a, a day where we've been empty or closed or any of those things. So naturally, you've got staff, you've got you know your legal obligations to your insurance companies, you've got your fire risk assessments, and all these things that that come with it. Uh, which means it's yes, yeah, it's four seven and never stops. So yeah, just a daily task to balance all of that. But I've seen on Facebook you've just recently been on holiday, so you, so you're you're getting that life balance right. And and I think to right. people that are starting out, you know, we hear a lot of people that complain about the hours and things like that if, if you really want something I think the message is that it is possible to have work-life balance and work in, in the hospitality industry yeah it's it's I'm gonna maybe generalize a little bit but um, it's, it's one of those industries I think if you if you want to make an excuse of why you need to be at work all the time you will in a nice possible way, when maybe sometimes even your personal life is not going so well, or maybe there's an excuse not to be home, then work becomes that reason to be there. Um, but the moment you start drawing lines in your own personal mindset of saying, okay, this is what's important to me. And then, so, you know, in my case, my family, my, my daughter, make sure that I see her every day, that make sure that I try to put her to bed every single night and, and read bedtime stories. Um, that, that becomes a priority, right? And then through that, my team knows that, my, you know, my, my bosses know that. And it's fine. No one, I've never seen anyone in, in, in this industry saying your family should not be important. So it's almost becomes a self-imposed thing to some people that it's an excuse not to try balance your life or excuse not to go home because I've got work to do. And, and, and then some of them, and I've seen it, you know, go home and say, oh yeah, you know, I'm so tired that I had to work silly hours and everything else. So it's still a difficult task to balance. But it's down to all of us individually to draw those lines and, and you know, be strict with our colleagues and, and our bosses alike to say that this is my priority, this is what I'm going to do. And, and, you know, if I'm leaving at this time, this is why. You know, I'm not just leaving because I'm not working hard, I'm not committed. When I'm here, I'm at work, I'm committed. I'm not walking around, I'm not having, you know, cigarette breaks every five minutes or, or whatever. Um yeah, so it's wrong those lines. When I work, I work. When I'm off, I'm off. And, and maybe that's that's the best way I can describe my own kind of value to that. And I'm sure I'm sure a massive important part of that is having people that you trust work with you, so you know that yeah. when you're not in the building, that, that it's not gonna um, you know crash and burn without your eyesight. And it's having trust in your team. Yeah, yeah. I think you know uh, we're all sick of talking about it now, but but COVID has taught all of us a lot of these kind of lessons, where a lot of other industries have moved on and said, look working from home, flexible working, whatever, that's that's a new normal. A lot of these industries were saying, you know, tech industries, for example, were saying that way before, you know, three, four years ago, they were all just saying that this is fine. You can work from whatever you are, right? As long as work is done, as long as you clock in and clock out and, and your tasks are completed and your customers or, you know, whoever are happy, then happy days. You can be, you know, on a beach, whatever. Um, and I think the hospitality industry kind of, well, it's, it's a mixed bag. On one hand, you've got a lot of functions that need to be here on site because if I'm a waiter, chef, I need to be on site. That's, that's it. You know, you can't cook from home. You can't deliver your yeah. beautiful cocktail from home. But there's a lot of other functions within the business that, that can do that, 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 you know, we are able to offer flexible work and we are able to offer um, ways of kind of working around it and saying, you know, you can work two days from home. You can work three days from home. You can, you know, have your client meetings on Zoom still to this day because a lot of clients... You know, I still don't want to have personal meetings and whatnot. So it's, it's finding that balance and, and making sure that your wider team is buying into that. And what I mean by that, you know, you don't want to say to housekeeping, no, you can't work from home because you need to be here because that's true. But at the same time, they need to understand that, for example, a revenue manager doesn't have to be here every day because that's the nature of the job. And, and you know, we've got so many layers and functions within each and every business that it's making sure that everyone knows what everyone else is doing yeah. And through that comes a lot of clarity. And then through that comes your values and explanations and, and kind of clear understanding of, of why we're doing certain things. 